Hey, this is Ed with BlueTexInsulation.com, and this is going to be a super short video on how to install Bluetex insulation inside existing tubular steel metal buildings. I just made a 15 minute video that covers all the details on how to do this, but this one is just going to cover the basics and the highlights. You can check the description below for a link to that video. Just a reminder, Bluetex foam and foil products are designed for what we call either non-conditioned or semi-conditioned buildings. These are buildings that you're generally not going to be heating and cooling it, or you're going to be occasionally, maybe you're running a window unit a few hours uh, here and there, or putting a space heater in just to take the edge off. These are going to be buildings like garages, workshops, barns, sheds, airplane hangars, uh, storage facilities, and other buildings like that. Once you install Bluetex insulation, the building should be significantly cooler in the summer. Basically like a big tree just landed over the building. And in the winter, it's going to keep more heat in. It's going to be more comfortable. Mainly, it's going to reduce or eliminate moisture or condensation. It's going to keep that warm, moist air from ever getting to the cold metal. So the install process is pretty straightforward. Basically, you're going to run the Bluetex horizontal across the face of your framing. You're going to start at the ground and work your way up to the ridge, overlapping about four inches on each piece. Now the Bluetex products have a peel and stick tab that's going to be facing down, and you're going to use that to attach or seal between the pieces. It's best to use self-drilling screws and washers, which we can provide, and also some extra three-inch white tape for the corners or any cuts or penetrations or splices. The biggest challenge you're going to run into are three areas, and that's the corners where the two walls meet, also the gable ends where the gable end comes comes into the roof and also the transition between the roof and the sidewalls. Basically in these areas there's no good place to screw into. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some wood strips to these corners. Basically you can use a 2x2 two two, or you can use a 2x4 and rip it but essentially you're going to use self-drilling screws. I'd pre-drill the wood, connect this wood onto these corners to make what's called a hard corner. So if you've ever done drywall that's basically what you're doing. You're creating a hard corner for the Bluetex to attach into. For for the transition between the wall and the roof, I'd put either a 1x4 or a 1x2 up in this corner. Basically install it up there kind of like crown molding. This way you have a hard corner to make that transition from the wall to the roof. Once you get your wood strips in, then you're going to do what's called marking it up. And this is probably the most critical step to have a great installation. What you want to do is take a Sharpie. That first piece is going to be 48 inches from the ground to that first, uh, the top of the piece. Just mark a mark right there at 48 inches. And then you're going to go up another 44 inches and put another mark. Put Sharpie marks all the way around the building. That'll give you a four inch overlap. From your second piece, 44 inches up again. And keep going all the way to the top until you hit the ridge. Next, you're going to start installing your Bluetex pieces. You're going to start at the ground with a tape tab facing down. Ideally, you have three people, one on either end to pull it tight, and one person in the middle to attach the screws. So start in the middle on the framing, two screws per frame, and work your way to the ends. Check the long video for more details about how to do the ends. From here, you're just going to work your way up the sidewalls all the way until you get to the center ridge. On both sides you should have a little overlap, that's okay. Just put a couple extra screws and use some tape to seal the seam. Then do your end walls and tie it all together. Finally, the last thing you're going to do is if you've got any doors or windows, trim around those and use the three inch white tape to clean those up. So that's a super short version of how to install Bluetex insulation inside existing tubular steel metal buildings. Check out the longer video for more details. I tell you how to handle the corner braces, how to deal with things like conduit, and also how to prepaint your screws and washers. For more information, visit bluetexinsulation.com.